The latest U.S. Navy ship is back in San Diego Bay and it's drawing a lot of attention, but it hasn't all been smooth sailing for the USS Independence. Tennis reporter Craig Herrera has a rare look inside the ship. It looks like a spaceship docked on the San Diego Bay. We were like in awe when we saw that thing. Like I said, it looks like it came up a James Bond movie. It's the USS Independence, a littoral combat ship with a new concept for the U.S. Navy. It's designed to do things traditional warships can't. Going into shallow water, uh, shallow is 15 feet, and traveling at very high speeds in excess of 40 knots. It can make a U-turn in record time. I can put the ship all the way around in about two and a half minutes. And it can stop quicker than any other ship. I mean, this ship from full throttle ahead, I can stop the ship in a length and a half. A crew of 40 can operate this 418 foot long ship. That's about 120 fewer people. And that also means better accommodations. Most junior members of the crew are living in staterooms like this where there are, you can see, six bunks and a shower and a bathroom. But it hasn't been all smooth sailing. Initial reports indicated problems with the lubrication system, seawater contamination, and steering problems caused by a broken cable. But that has all been addressed. The ship is definitely still in a test and development mode. The ship was commissioned in January 2010, and in the past four years they have been running several tests. Uh, all the tests that we've done so far have been successful, and the ship is performing as advertised. The ship should stay in the testing mode for the remainder of the year, and if the U.S. Navy budget allows, they will eventually have a fleet of 55 ships just like it. I think the other countries are going to be very intimidated by this vessel and our enemies. In downtown San Diego, Craig Herrera, 10 News. I'm intimidated. Wow, if you would like to see the inside of the USS Independence, you can do it tomorrow. The gates open to the public at 8 in the morning. The last tour, though, will be at 1130 in the morning. It's docked at the B Street Pier near the USS Midway.